Welcome back. So I showed you guys last lesson by mistake I put in um, slash ID. Let me just try and run this and show you in Postman. Let's just start this up. Um, and if I put in slash ID right now, all it returns is just value. That's of course not the goal. The, the intention is that when I call this get request with the uh, ID in the end, I should actually get a specific customer with a specific ID instead of just a very simple string. So let me just try and show you how it, uh, how it works right now. So if I go into the customers and I do a get request with an ID here, you'll get back um, very boring value right here and that's not what we want to do. So let's just jump into the code again and change that. Now you've already know, you already know how this works with the get request but instead of actually returning a string I want to return an actual customer, right? And what I can also do right away is I can say um, customer service get the customer by ID because I already made that function and that's actually how fast it was for me to kind of make the change uh, so that this will work. There are a few things we'll change to make it even better, but let me just try and show you that now it'll actually return the customer with the specific ID if I send in a good ID for this guy. Giving it a second right here. There we go. Jumping back, putting in the ID, sending, and now you'll hopefully see the customer returning, but only the single customer. Where with the other get request, I get all the customers, right? This guy only returns the single customer. I can also put in two, and then I'll only get last back. Okay, what if I put in five? That doesn't exist, what will happen? I get no content back automatically. What? Isn't that cool? So the system is already set up. If this returns null, which mine does right now, it actually returns automatically no content. Pretty much meaning that you're getting back, I didn't find that customer automatically. That's amazing. Now we can make it some validations if we want to. We could say if ID is less than zero, right? Or less than one, sorry, then we could return a bad request. I don't think it's necessary right here because either you get a customer or you don't get a customer and the ID doesn't matter here, but we could still do it saying ID must be greater than one, uh, zero, sorry, there we go. We could do this, something like this, just to explain to the customer, uh, the client, if he, if he does something wrong right there, but it's up to you. But notice how cool it is that if you return null in your functions right here, automatically it'll say no content without you doing anything at all. That's just... Microsoft helping you out. So the .NET Core system right here is up and running again. Let's just try and do a send again with customer five. You'll still get the no content. But what if I do with a zero send, I get a bad request. ID must be greater than one. What if I put minus one right here, I'll do a send and I get uh, ID must be greater than one. Let's just try and put a letter because I forgot that wasn't what I should put in there. It actually says the value HD is not valid, right? I get a bad request. Again, build in stuff. Gotta love it. So that's it for this lesson. Now we actually have a way to kind of get uh, both all our different customers, but also a single customer if you want to. So have fun. See you next time.